Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Kenshi Ocarina's Wrath Let's Play. So we are at the outpost, which has changed considerably since the last time you guys have seen it. Uh, not only have I got a lot of work done on the outpost, but um, I've had to move a lot of things around as well. So I think the most obvious part is that the gate is no longer at this little ravine here. Uh, that's because it turned out you can't actually path all the way through it. So I was hoping that that could be like a nice little choke point to use, you know, for our entry. But as it happens, uh, right about here, you can't actually walk on that for some reason. I don't know why. It looks like you could. Um, it's not like any steeper or anything than the other parts. But anyway, um, you couldn't walk through it. So our base wasn't accessible with the gate where it was. So I had to move it and I decided to put it here because this looked, you know, roughly like a path or a road. So I put it up on that. And then it goes here into the base and that kind of tails off this way. So, uh, I still haven't really done much here, but obviously the walls are wrapped all the way around now. So we are completely enclosed. Though I would like to maybe add some walls over here just for safety reasons. Not that that's really a thing in this game. We've got a bug house over here, which um, I've had a lot of issues with. I wasn't able to, and this was a problem that was happening in my other playthrough as well, the just uh, the Kenshi playthrough that we're trying to rebuild the hub in. Uh, I couldn't get in or out of the building. I had people stuck in there. So um, I've been finagling with it in the editor, and I've got it into a place where I think it works consistently. Uh, but I've tried everything. I did like the nav mesh fix. I did the other fix in the editor, and uh, none of them did anything. So... Uh, I just kind of moved the building around until it got to a place where people were able to walk in it. So I'm hoping that that's just the end of that. Uh, but I have this house, or this bug house here. There's nothing in it yet. Uh, but it does have its own windmill. We've got all of our production happening here. Um, I think this is like copper, raw iron. This is making the plates, and then the plates go here. I'm, I am going to move that. It's kind of just in the middle right now. Uh, we've got a well, some barrels to store our wheat grass, and two wheat grass farms. I'm going to upgrade one of them as soon as I have enough wheat grass stored up. Right now I only have nine. So basically whenever we get the next harvest we'll have enough and we'll bump this up to a medium one. Over here is where we're making building materials. The so stone goes in there. This processes it and we pop out the building materials there. So, I have these two buildings. Obviously, you guys are familiar with this one. This is the old one, where we're keeping our prisoners. Though, I'm going to need a couple more cages, and you'll see why in a moment. Uh, and then, this one is new. I started putting, like, clothing and potentially... Well, I don't have access to it yet, but armor crafting. And then, also, I've got this person here, who's not actually part of our faction. She is a trader that I met in town, buying stuff. And uh, through this mod, I'm able to basically hire her to come work in my town. So if we wanted to unload some excess materials, like we have a bunch of copper we're not using, uh, Wing Wang can talk to her. And we can either tell her to follow us and you know move her to a different building. Um, or when you want them to settle somewhere, you tell them you'll work here. But uh, more importantly, you can go to this option. And, and they are a merchant and we can buy and sell from. Now, they don't have anything especially useful. A um, couple random blueprints. Basically, what you'd find at like, any bar, more or less. Um, I might actually need these. I'm going to buy them. I'm glad I checked. Uh, some armor plating, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, but more importantly, we can sell stuff. So, I don't need to go all the way into town to sell things. I can just do it right there. Um, and that's kind of it. I, I'm building this longhouse right now. That's why I bought the steel bars, because I have some in here, but I'm willing to bet not enough. Yeah, so I'm going to need at least six more. Uh, and that will get moved. It's in kind of an awkward place now, but that's the only place in the base, pretty much, that would let me put it down. So I'm going to try to move it back a little bit to take up maybe some of this space here. And I'll lower it as well, because I want 
I want this door to basically be in the mouth of this crevice that is accessible because beyond this little spot here, this is all traversable. So that little crevice is going to lead right up to the front of this building and up the ramp. Right, so uh, that's what's happening with the base. You can see we've got a lot of slaves working now. They've all got their collars and uh, shackles on. It took me forever to find enough of them. Uh, I have to go to like every belt trader in Holy Nation territory to get them. But you can see everybody's got them now. And I think I have a few extras. Uh, but the reason I was mentioning more prisoner cages is because something went down at this holy mine over here. And there is a lot of Holy Nation troops that are injured just kind of lying here. And so I think Horin would want to intervene and help them and I think this would be a great opportunity to maybe find our way back in to the Holy Nation as a faction if we rescue these people um, and you know maybe get them to kind of come around to our side maybe they can uh, put in a word for us especially since a few of these guys are paladins and uh, see if maybe the Holy Phoenix or one of the Inquisitors will reconsider. But yeah, there's a Sentinel. I'm pretty sure there's a Paladin somewhere. That's a Slaver. Uh, they were fighting skeletons. And so there's one of the skeletons there. That's another Sentinel. Um, obviously, we're not going to take any skeletons. They're abominations beyond even what we would consider enslaving. But yeah, I think all of the uh, Holy Nation people here are like knocked out. At least most of them. Uh, what's going on over here? So I, I gotta be careful because if I do pick them up, they will... If they spot me picking them up, they will attack me. So I want to make sure I avoid that. But I think it would be worth trying to quote-unquote rescue them. So I'm gonna grab my guard force that's right here. We'll send the five of these guys. You can see I've got these little um, guard post idle stands that sort of they work just like the ones that the actual guards at the towns use. They're just visible because you have to place them. So if I put them down, these guys will stand here looking tough with their arms crossed. I'll let that auto save do its business any moment now. Okay. So yeah, they'll stand here looking tough, but I need them all five of them to run over there and save these guys. So I still have a bunch of dust bandit prisoners I need to deal with as well. But uh, I'm, I'm less concerned about them. Obviously this is a bigger opportunity for us, not just because they're really good uh, characters that would make you know potentially really good recruits, but also um, how great they're coming outside. Also, obviously, from a roleplay perspective, this would be a great opportunity for us to sort of help them out. I don't know if there's much I can do about them. To be honest, I'm not even really going to try. Oh, we got Triangle Bandits. I'm not even going to sweat that, because Horan can one-shot them. But yeah, that's a little unfortunate. I guess we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully they'll go back inside and we can do what we wanted to do. By the way, um, Shrike, it says she's in combat, but that's because she's sitting on this turret. And I don't know that I've seen her fire it. Alright, sorry about that. The game crashed, uh, so I took the opportunity while I was getting set back up to uh, queue up a couple of prisoner cages to be constructed. Let's go ahead and grab our crew here and send them back over to right about there and off they go hopefully we don't experience another crash though the game is uh, still kind of chugging here Horin deal with that triangle bandit oh you completely whiffed what is even going on here there we go um, take the weapon I guess just so they can't continue to attack us with it and now your clothing is junk all right keep moving 
Um, oh crap, what's happening? It is getting pretty wild in here. Uh, it looks like they're fighting the starving bandits. They're just hanging out. Uh, shoot, what's happening here? Okay. Uh, I should grab everybody, and before I forget, turn their jobs back off. I did it last time, but I obviously um, didn't redo it when this whole mess happened. So, I am going to hope that these guys deal with the Holy Nation people, so I can just kind of come in and pluck them up. Nobody's dead, right? Okay. John, I'm going to ask you to kidnap our friend there. And I'm going to ask you to run back inside. And hopefully nobody's any the wiser. Remember, we're helping them. We're doing them a favor. They just don't know it. That skeleton's crawling away. Uh, let's see. That's a Holy Nation slaver. I don't think we have any interest in helping them. The Sentinels and the Paladins are people that we want to help. Though, I'm not really seeing any. Let's see. Corbulo. Grab that sentinel there. And then run. Uh oh. Crap. They saw, and now uh, this place is going to hate us. Um, that does make me wonder so holy nation the holy nation no they still like me so it's just these guys well we can knock him out and you know make him one of the bunch I guess let's see how it plays out um, Silas and Brandis I need you to engage that guy you might get completely destroyed by him but oh <laughs> or not Go ahead and grab him. And you can go with. We will need to treat them. Presumably. Horan, are you just like slaughtering all these starving bandits? I think he is. Okay. That is a skeleton. Now, I am beholden by the laws of roleplay to attack this skeleton. Because... We are, or at least Horin is, from the Holy Nation, and he's not a zealot, but he does, you know, follow the Akronite Creed. So, this is an abomination in his eyes, and it needs to be destroyed. And it looks like we will do just fine in that regard. He's actually putting up a better fight than a lot of other enemies. Oh, we got more skeletons coming in, apparently. Who's still over here? Brandis? Brandis, um, help me out. I don't know that you're going to have much of a chance, to be honest. Skeletons are pretty good. How are you doing? I mean, you're going to win that fight. It's just, it's going to be closer than I would have liked. Uh, so... Holy Nation. Not really seen any there. Just the one slaver. Again, not too interested in slavers. So, Brandis, why don't you run over to this guy, steal his katana, and then just leave. Or or get smacked in the back of the head. Oh, that's a Wakazashi. Never mind. I'll take it anyways, but... You should probably just get to a safe distance. I don't know that he's going to make it. So Horin's probably going to have to carry... Oh, he just gave up. Okay. And where'd that other guy take off to? I should just slow things down a bit. It'll be easier to keep track of. So I think we downed one skeleton. Yeah. Double. So who's this? Do they ha all have names? Wait. You're double. Okay, so they're both double. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's pretty good. If this was our other playthrough, I would recruit him. After we knocked him out, but unfortunately, uh... 
This is not that playthrough. Oh, crap. Where'd you come from? Oh, man. Um, Horin might be out of his depth here, actually. I mean, he's still fine, but... They are both kind of wailing on him right now. Yeah, you need to get out of there, man. Let the Holy Nation clean up their own mess. We saved who we could. But you don't want to be fighting them both at the same time. What a mess. It looks like there are still... Sentinels in here fighting. Yeah, let's take... Whoops. Let's take both of them and just get them back to base. Oh man, he is intent on attacking you. Is the other guy following? I can't tell. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, you should be fine. No? Okay. Yeah, patch him up. Okay. Yeah, you guys do whatever you're doing. Go ahead and first aid Brandis. We need to get him healed. Oh, I was going to have Horin help you. But yeah, heal him up. And then get a uh, splint on his leg. That should help him move a little bit better. Uh, still not great. Why don't you pick him up then? Yeah, that's faster. Um, don't care about you. Let's get in here. Alright, did any of those get built? No. Why not? It says he's engineering. What is he? Oh, he's probably too focused on this right now. Uh, I'm going to ask him to stop that job and start this job. Yeah, I know you don't have any. Go get them. Uh, let's see. Take all of them and then give two back because we need exactly 20. All right. Corbulo, head up here. John, head up here. And Silas, head up here. All rocks, you have a dust bandit, right? Oh, good, the lights finally came on. I guess, Horin, you bring Brandis up there too, because that's where our beds are as well. All right, Jebediah is starting. So we'll build all of them as quickly as we can. And then throw these guys in there. Uh, hopefully they are not dying. I think they were all like okay. Yeah, none of them were going to bleed to death or anything. Um, Horin, why don't you put him in bed? And how are you looking? Oh man, they almost took you out. His chest is only at 16. So we'll let him rest as well. And these three can uh, maintain guard. Now hopefully those skeletons just ignore us. I guess we'll know if Shrike starts firing at anything. So that's almost done. I guess you guys could help. Just go put in a couple uh, extra hands. Alright, next one. Let's see, John, put your prisoner in there. And help him build. Wait, Brandis, what are you doing? No, get back in bed, damn it. Whatever. Um, I don't care as long as they're not doing anything ridiculous. Though, I will need to pull their weapons because they will never join us if they have weapons. So let's see. Good old Holy Cleaver, we'll take that. And why don't you guys help here? Balos, if you're going to stand up here, you got to help too. So everybody chip in with that. We'll get it done faster. Um, Sperry, 
I'm gonna send you to stack to get some more steel bars. Okay, then let's have the lot of you work on that one. Meanwhile, uh, Corbulo, throw your prisoner in there. Make sure you take that cleaver. Oh wow, he's got a lot of weapons. Where the hell did you get all these? Probably from the uh, starving bandits that they captured. At least that's what I would guess. Okay, so those are all finished. Um, we just have... Well, actually, everybody's in there. I'm not too concerned with the hungry bandit leader that Valos is holding right now. I will throw in a dust bandit prisoner if we've got one, though. Um, all rocks. why don't you throw your prisoner in there? Okay. I need, actually, Jebediah, don't go anywhere yet. I need you to loot this Holy Sentinel, because they have a ton of weapons on them, too. So let's grab all of these. And then if one of you, I guess... Jebediah, it's fine if you do it, since you were already headed down there. Uh, we need to go talk to the trader so that we can sell all these weapons. Or at least um, anything that we don't want to keep, which is going to be most, if not all of them. Okay, so initiate that conversation, please. Um, do I want to keep the horse choppers? Definitely going to keep the holy cleavers. There's no reason not to keep those. Um, I'll maybe hang on to these. We'll have to see if there's anything better. Okay, Brandis. Probably don't need that. Um, do I want to sell this junk bow? Yeah, probably. Balos, sell yours as well. That's a little bit better than the other ones that we've seen. Um, get rid of that. I'll give you a better spare weapon. Cane, you don't have anything. Yeah, I think I'll keep the horse choppers just in case. And you guys don't have anything on you. Okay. So that is done. Back up here. We can... We can't talk to you. Can we? Uh, we can. I'm going to let Horin do the talking. So why don't you guys go downstairs to get out of the way. Alrox, put your prisoner in there, and I guess you can hang out up here if you want and be like the prison guard, but Horin's going to do the talking. We'll talk to this guy since he's the only one conscious. Uh, doesn't look too interested in conversing with us, actually. Might have to remove the armor before they'll talk. We'll see, though. Um, I've successfully done it with people still wearing armor, so I don't know that that's it. They might just be too... No, I know you can recruit Holy Sentinels. You can recruit all the way up to Inquisitors. I'm just not sure why they're so upset. Uh, our relation with the Holy Nation did go down a little bit from putting them in the cages, but only three points. I guess one for each person. We're still in the positive, though. And gaining relationship with the Holy Nation will be really easy after this, so... Um, I guess we'll just have to wait. I'll get you back to resting, then. The other thing we really need to do... Is our research has kind of stalled back in Mongrel. Because I don't have ancient science books. That's something that we need to acquire. And so I was thinking of sending like Horin and maybe Sperry, like a two-person mission, since anybody else is going to slow them down. But I'd really like to get into making like plate armor, for example, so that we can start making Holy Nation breastplates. I actually have the blueprint. I just don't have the ability to make the bench. Or the plates, for that matter. So, I'd like to be able to research that, but I need engineering research. Um, trying to think of what else. 
But yeah, to progress, we need ancient science books. So, there's a couple of places we know where we can find ancient science books. For example, in our other playthrough, I went to this area here, and we actually got quite a few of them, so that's something we can try. I can also send Sperry to... Uh, there's like a little rebel base right here that, at least in the other playthrough, occasionally sells research artifacts. So we could go there and see if we can buy some. There's other places we can buy them, but we're not going to go into um, skeleton territory to barter with people. That's not something that we would do. Uh, so we could go to Narcos Trap, but th we've got to be really stealthy, otherwise uh, the sentinels and paladins there will attack us. So this might be the safest bet this early. But I do think it's worth swinging by that outpost, or that uh, rebel base first. So I'm going to let Horan rest up. If the game will load. I'm going to let him rest. Sperry, meanwhile, is going to... I thought I gave you a move order, did I not? Well, I was going to send you to stack, but go to this rebel base first. Aimless. Why are you aimless? Okay, you're moving. Oh, you're like out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Right, the same dumb buggy location that keeps getting her stuck. I don't know what it is about that spot, but every time she runs through it, she just can't path her way uh, past it. Which is really frustrating, because every time I send her anywhere, I have to micromanage it at least at that spot. So I think now we can give the order and she'll figure it out the rest of the way. Uh, you're not coming back the same direction, are you? Okay, I think she's good now. I've given her a move order to around the hub and she seems to have some idea where she's going, so I'm just gonna trust that that's the case and I'll check in in a bit just to make sure that she actually makes it there. Um, let's see, Horan's doing pretty good, but Brandis is still awfully beat up. And it doesn't look like they have any interest in talking to me. Which is a little concerning. But the mod should allow us to recruit them, because I have seen people recruit um, all the way up to, again, Inquisitors. Do you have room in your inventory? I'm going to take, like, everything. As soon as the lag stops. <laughs> uh, sure, just grab it all. Okay. Now you're naked. Let's see if that changes your tune. Uh, pick them up and put them back in. Just to kind of reset their AI. Um, nothing yet. I guess I'll just keep checking back in. How's this building coming? Uh, short of the steel bars, it's almost done. So, we'll have to make sure Sperry gets at least six of them. Okay, so whereabouts are you? Right, you're actually pretty close to that base. The base might have the steel bars. Because it's always got sort of like a weird assortment of stuff there. Lots of uh, crossbows, for some reason, and uh, again, occasionally research artifacts, so we might be able to get everything there if we're lucky. Let's pop inside. God, my frame rate is atrocious right now. Not sure what is going on, but I know OBS doesn't really play nice with this game. It just seems worse than usual right now. Okay, lots of pole arms. Uh, only one steel bar, which is unfortunate. Uh, there is one ancient science book here. I'll take it. Oh, that's a bit of an issue, though. Something I didn't consider. And that, of course, is that my research bench is in the Fog Islands. Uh, let's buy some food, too. Oh, right. Her backpack doesn't stack, either. Uh, but, yeah, buy up the food, because we need to 
make sure our people are eating. Um, what else? Iron plates wouldn't hurt, but I don't like desperately need them. We are making them just slower than I'd like. Um, hmm. I guess that's all we need. Unfortunately, though, we're either going to need to bring our researcher out of Mongrel and to our outpost, or have Sperry deliver the research materials to him in Mongrel. So, I think what I'll do, because she is very fast. Yeah. Like, very fast. What's your athletics now? Almost 70. Let's have her return to the outpost with the food. And then, hopefully, by the time she gets back, Horin will be fully healed. And I'll send both of them to Mongrel. They should be able to outrun the Fogmen, no problem. So, they'll be able to get in and out without any issue. We can deliver the one book, and then they can continue north to... Um, I forget what this place is called. I used to know what it was called. It's like this... Uh, no, can't remember. But it's, it's pretty cool, actually, and there's a lot of robots for Horin to kill. Though, I, I don't know if he's up to the task of defeating an iron spider one-on-one. -on -one. I guess we'll see. It'll be a good test. Because when I went there in the other playthrough, I had to stealth it to a degree, and then kind of kite the iron spiders around with uh, crossbows to kill them. And it would be really cool to just go in there and trash them. Starving bandits are now hostile toward us. Well, weren't they always? I feel like they're always attacking me. Let's make sure there's not like a raid coming our way. But I haven't really been getting attacked at all. Uh, so I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, I haven't really... I don't think I've had any raid on our base since the dust bandits attacked us in last episode, which it's been several days, almost maybe even weeks in game since that happened. Oh, I thought we were close. I was like, oh, we're at the holy mine already, but that's the wrong one. She is going to run into trouble as she gets up here, so I'm going to have to come back in a moment to fix that. But we only got one steel bar, so we will need to stop somewhere else. What are you even doing? Oh, you're trying to build this crossbow that got messed up. Uh, when I reload the game, hopefully he can get to that, but oh god. for the mean In the meantime, let's have him run over here and grab the steel bars that we do have. Your inventory is a mess, man. Let's see, actually, while you're over here, since you have all those random weapons, oh, I should sell some of these. Uh, throw the cleaver in there. Throw the chopper in there. Okay. I did give you those steel bars, right? So you're going to need to go trade with Wing Wang for the other two. There we go. And get back to building. So that's done, except for those six steel bars. That's good, I guess. Alright, so she's stuck. I think this is the way home. I think she goes up here? Normally? I don't know, to be honest. Oh god. I'm not even going to try. Uh, go this way. You're not even moving, are you? Nope. Nope. Got to do baby steps, or she won't follow. Try this way. Let's see where it takes us. That is bad teeth right there. So I think we went the wrong way. Yeah, we did. Okay, so which way do you want to go? I honestly have no idea. But she is moving. As long as she doesn't get stuck up here, I think we're okay.
Okay, so we are under attack, it appears. Um, I just saw Shrike uh, light up, and sure enough, when I jump over here, there's some bandits running in. So, where is, like, Silas? Okay, Silas and Cor Corbulo just went and got food. I need you guys to come intercept these bandits. And Crumble John, you should be over there, too. Silas, engage that one. Corbulo, engage this one. And try to be quick about it. John, if anybody else comes in here, I need you going for them. Oh, they were going after uh, Shrike. Well, did you just shoot him with a crossbow point blank? Wow. Okay, well, we got some more... Uh, Day laborers. Did you just like kill him? No, he is bleeding pretty bad though. You can run down here and help out, I guess. I don't know how much help you're going to be with that person over your shoulder, but you got to still be better than a starving bandit, regardless. And then two on one, it's not going to matter either way. Um, let's see. You're still moving, right? Okay, good. Sperry. Oh, perfect. Amazing timing. Alright, John, I want you set up on that. Actually, I'll just put you back on your job. Silas, um, I should probably have you grab... Where did they even go? Okay, apparently they fell through the ground. Are they still alive? Whoops. Where, where is it? Where is it? I can't see. Okay, well, pick them up. And then I'll check, I guess. There we go. Uh, it's really tempting to just kind of throw them on the ground outside. Because I don't need more workers. So, take them out here and just kind of leave them for the bone dogs, I guess. Right, so, Sperry... Come over here to my food barrels. And... There shouldn't be Gohan in there, but okay. Raw meat. Why don't you take that stuff? And that should be in here. I don't know that we're going to be able to fit all of it in there, but we'll try. And here. For whatever reason, I don't have, like, the regular food storage anymore. I, I think a mod broke it because they just don't exist. Here, you can eat that one or something. Like, they're just not in my game. I can't find them in the build thing. Even when I use the uh, editor, which allows you to build anything that's in the game, whether you have the research or not. So, um... Yeah, they're just gone. So I've been using these, which are not ideal, but they sort of work. Um, go find... Where the hell's Jebediah now? Of course. Go trade with Sperry. And then Sperry and Horan are going to go on an adventure. I'm glad to see that this building is working properly, though. Well, other than the, the turret thing, but... At least people can go in and out of the door. That's a big issue so far. Okay, take that. Then go ahead and work on it. Horin, you're all healed up, so why don't you come down here? Oh, prayer day's arrived. Uh, Horin, why don't you go talk to them? Actually, yeah, come out here. Let's have you both dump those people and then come back well I'll just let them do their jobs so they'll automatically go right Horin come out here you've got the book Sperry get out here as well okay Horin talk to them today is a glorious day 
Uh, show the holy flame. No, don't do that. Uh, take his hand, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Where is Sperry? Oh, I accidentally sent her to go, to go talk or something. That's bad. Uh, anyway, let's go to Mongrel, I guess. And I should check in on them. I think I forgot to send Beat back to work. Which means we're going to be a little bit low on copper. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. Go talk to the trader. You have stuff, yeah. Okay, unload all of that. It didn't get us very far. And then get back to work. And let's see, Solomon, how have you been doing on your own? Uh, actually pretty good, it's half full. So when they get here, I'll have to remember to... I'll have to remember to um, send him on another run. Let's see, I'm going to tell them to run to here. Right, so while these two journey to Mongrel, uh, how fast are they moving, by the way? Probably 22, because she's faster than that. And they're set to move at the same speed, so yeah, they're running at horns rate, which is still faster than Fogman can run. Anyways, uh, while they journey to Mongrel, I think we'll call it an episode, and we'll pick back up with their adventure in the next one. So, is it only you that gets stuck there? No, apparently they both do. Okay. Uh, move through here. And... Go to Mongrel. Okay, I think they can figure it out from there. So, uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Kenshi with you. Uh, I'm looking forward to improving our you know, research capability so that we can become a little bit more self-sufficient. And now that we've gotten some uh, Holy Sentinels in our base, again, maybe we can send them to parlay with the Holy Nation and you know, put in a good word for us and let us at least try to redeem ourselves. So, uh, thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.